And welcome back to The Factor on Censored. It's Social Media Monday, and tonight we're learning about a new trend calling on social media users to block celebrities who are publicly silent on the war in Gaza. I want y'all to block every damn celebrity. Block Beyonce, block Drake, block Kendrick Lamar, block every celebrity at the Met Gala. Block them all. As it has been said before, these people have all the opportunity to make change in this world. And instead of using their platform to talk about that matters, they use it to make themselves money. That's it. This is being called hashtag blockout 2024. Social media expert Karen Diamant is here to talk about it. Also trending tonight, growing popularity of cottage cheese. We'll talk about that disgusting product <laughs> later. But, well, you know, I don't know if it's. I haven't had it since a kid. It's I, good. I don't You've know. Got to revisit. But this blockout celebrities. Mm -hmm. How fair is that to force a celebrity's hand to get involved politically in something like this? I mean, it's a it's a new stance that social media users are taking. Um, but these are individuals who have nothing to lose. Correct. And it, no one. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Well, here's their end goal. Their end goal is so that if you take the action against blocking, it actually means that they don't have you as a user or you as a data pool whenever brands go to vet them to work with them or do contracts or deals with them those users like don't exist anymore mm -hmm. and so if you just don't follow a celebrity like let's just say you unfollow Beyonce but you still maybe watched a video or maybe you know recently engaged with her content you still are a user that has access to her um, you know social media feeds and so therefore a brand will consider and say oh you're worth this much more so they're mm -hmm. trying to make a dent on perhaps their you know follower um, data insights that's what they're trying to do besides anyone but Diddy do you think there's been an impact obviously Diddy has his own problems but has there been an impact on any celebrity we know as a result of this hashtag blackout 2024 no significant impact and it's hard to get behind it because you know you're holding them to a standard and you're holding them to say hey i i follow you but i don't know a swifty and i don't know a member of the bay hive that's that's gone and taken this action against them mm -hmm. you know they're fans and and how fair do you think it is for someone who has nothing to lose, mm -hmm. telling a celebrity who has everything to lose mm -hmm. to get involved. Yeah, it, it really is unfair, but it is a demonstration. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's caught on on social media. So it definitely has potential to have some sort of impact, right? If it tugs at the right emotional hamstrings and maybe a celebrity will feel compelled to take action on it. Um, so it, it, it is a movement and it is creating some type of momentum. I mean, we're sitting here talking about it. And of course, yeah. a lot of celebrities have taken a position on it mm -hmm. and they feel comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about this thing that Oh, you brought to me. Oh man, cottage cheese. So, so what is we're that about? Totally shifting gears now. <laughs> but let me just tell you, cottage cheese is having a moment in 2024. Um, oh basically, God, what I'm it is is that it. a lot of people mm -hmm. are exploring, you know, diet, a new diet culture, maybe even keto culture. No pun intended mm -hmm. there with that, because we all know that cottage cheese is a form of cultured milk. Mm -hmm. um, I know you don't like the texture, but let me tell you, people are inventing new ways to create uh, recipes out of cottage cheese. They're creating bread-like uh, that, recipes and they're creating seasoning? pizza crust. You can season it. You can put honey on it. Mm. I, I eat it with fresh fruit. Sometimes it's the perfect What's girl it dinner. Like? I've had it in years. It is years. very, it like, very, like very bland. Six. It is very, very bland, but it is a vessel for protein. So I actually, you know, it's use it. It's chicken. I, I use it in Karen's kitchen. I make, you know, I use it as a vessel for for protein to get my protein in and you like I, it? And, and it requires no cooking. So you it's like just it? so easy. You like I it? do. I like it. I put a little honey. I even put some Splenda fruit and I'm good. That's my girl dinner. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. 
<laughs> I don't even know what to do now. I can't. Well, uh, maybe I need to revisit, revisit it because I, I haven't had it since like five or six years yeah. old. When my dad forced me to have it's it. It's guard you. And for he also life. made me have buttermilk. So maybe I got the two things mixed up. Yeah, you've just got a sour taste in your mouth about <laughs> it. <laughs> Karen, don't come back. Not with cottage cheese. <laughs>